we're making some tea. Yes. It's green tea and chai mixed together as a one. <laughs> Alright, yo. Jungle Beats, Australia's plug to the best hip hop and music in the world. You press recording? Yeah, man, I did. Oh, shit, I didn't see it. Reviewing Sorry. and reacting to music. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, we're giving the people what they want. We accidentally recorded. Uh, I keep forgetting the album that we did. The Money Store. The we, money did the, store. We, did we did the, the Money, money Store. store. I think right? it was the first because I think we checked either Spotify, iTunes Music, and X Military wasn't listed on there. And so and now we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing X Military. Per right? your request on Patreon. Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting us. It means a lot. If you're a mm-hmm. Patreon member, three dollars or more, you get to vote on what albums we review next. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the feedback for the Money Store was we should have looked at the lyrics. We should have looked at the lyrics for the money store, and then I heard from this, yeah, ex-military, it's more accessible, you probably don't need to, but for future projects after this, we will look at the lyrics while we listen. Mm-hmm. For now? For uh, now, we're just going to sit back and see how it all started. Exactly. And as someone who's listened to the money store a lot now, I might sort of draw some looks to like how this turns I'll be into honest, it. I haven't gone back to it once. Really? There's nothing drawing me back. Uh, I went back to it probably four or five times. Alright, man. I quite liked it, yeah. Alright. Death Grips. Ex military jungle beats. Let's do it. Beware. Beware the normal fighting type. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. I feel like I'm getting um, uh, recruited into a cult. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, I found the track pretty boring, honestly. Mm-hmm. I thought the thing that I've noticed about this is like there's sounds from here that we hear on the money store, but the money store, the voice is the voice is a bit more distorted. I think because it's not as distorted on this track, mm-hmm. I thought I can hear it a lot more. What he's saying, uh, there's not as much switch ups, there's not as much chaos, it's not as much a clusterfuck. It's more, it sounds a lot more organized. And because we've already heard them not organized, I prefer that so much more. Hearing this and just the same sort of looping guitar, the same sort of it's quite boring, the same sort of structure of vocals throughout the whole time from hook to verse to hook to verse, I just wasn't engaged. I just, I just didn't really care too much for it. Snoozer! It's a snoozer! Yeah, yeah watch him write in the comments. What the fuck did you say? Hey! 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 That's what you look, that's what you look like right now! Fuck! military is their best album, how the fuck are you gonna diss them, bro? <clears throat> uh, so, after hearing the money store, that track was pretty boring to me. I was pissed off a lot of people, fuck. Who gives a fuck, man? You're gonna be straight up. What do you want to be like? Oh, Death Grips, let me suck your cock. I love everything you do. <laughs> See, they're making the memes already. Yeah. He probably has a nice dick, though. I want to be so big that people make memes about us, like like Needle Drop. Wouldn't that just get big enough when people start making memes? That's what an honor. It'd, it'd be. You know, you've made it when you're a meme. Exactly. But would you want, what would you want your meme to be like? I can't pick the meme. The people got to pick the meme. You got to pick the meme. Yeah, 
it's kind of right. The like, meme has to be bestowed upon you. You can't pick what your kid gonna look like. Imagine if you could though. You can, uh, with give DNA, a with, demon with genetic, um, with the genetic advancements we were making in genetic testing and and DNA research, it's coming and it's right around the corner. Do you find it fucked up that you can choose how someone's gonna look? Imagine growing up being like, someone wanted me to look exactly like this. Um, I can't even fathom that. Because right now you're like, I am what? What? This is just DNA. They just happen to come together. Like you look at your brother yeah. and you'd be like, same people, completely different person. But like, I guess that's one good thing, I guess. Like you can choose how someone looks, but you can't choose who they're going to be. So I guess you still have that. Look, this track didn't engage me the same as you. And, <laughs> that's um, why we're just talking about this. Talking shit. And... There's a lot of verses in here which um, just sound like they're recruiting me into uh, some type of cult. Uh, maybe this sounds like something that could be played. You know when we play Elder Scrolls? You ever play Elder Scrolls Oblivion? Yeah, man. That was the motherfucking shit. Man, did you ever play Skyrim? Yeah, uh, I think I maybe. No. Ah, maybe not. I think so, yes. I think so. <laughs> I was going to bite your finger. Then. Woo! That's the first game I So you know when it? you're in a dungeon or something and, and there's the, you go into a scene where like um, there's a lot of priests and shit and, and you yeah, got to cast yeah. magic? It sounds like this you, shit you just, would be... You just walk in and you're just like... And this starts playing. And they will just turn around and look at you. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. have Bibles around their hand. You're just sitting there with like a sword and a shield. Right, like, and you're like, fucked. ah, fuck. This starts like, playing. I'm one of you guys. Yeah, this starts playing. And you're just fucking fighting him. Yep. That's it. That's That's what I want to say. Look, we've spent about 10 minutes. Let's get to the next track. You should track. play Skyrim now and play this track where you're killing cultists. Uh, guillotine. Okay. That's better. Ooh. Woo. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. fuck is that to go from the intro track to that because there was the little the parts of the song where those little beat those little instrument oh those would, would go they would come in production and then they wouldn't happen again so very a lot of stuff in here is exactly what you hear from the money store so very different from the first track uh there's still the structure in terms of verse and hook though was the same but fucking hell like it was so fucking that's, good that's one of my favorite death grip tracks right there that was really cool that is that yeah. So sonically diverse oh, and engaging. There you go. It goes, it goes, it goes, and it goes, 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 do I have to play it? Get out of my face. Just play it, man. Bu that's bullshit, man. They don't pay for this this jungle free jungle beat sponsor. I think SoundCloud has to advertise it now because it was going to get shut down or some shit. Oh, skip ad. I can click skip ad. Why did you skip it, bro? It's ready, 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 
some Western shit. What Western? The guitar. I think we're here in the saloon. Right, right, right. Ooh. And then it just changes completely. Can I quote you a hook? Do you know what the hook's saying? Yeah, he says he fucks the music. I fuck the music. I make it come. <laughs> I fuck the music with my serpent tongue. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Ain't no fun if the aliens can't have none. <laughs> Bars. Dude, I just love this because the whole way through that song, there's a like a jazz bass in the back. There's like a um, slow I don't mind of, that. Yeah. There's, there's like a slow indie style, like tambourine sort of in the back. And then they've got fucking westernized like guitar in the background, which transcends to like more electric heavy and then goes back to like the instrumentation. What the fuck you be saying? The instrument the instrumentation on this track is so fucking cool. And just it's like different. And the way that it rides, the rides that bass the whole way through, like, I fucking love it. This is a really cool track. Okay, you don't know what it's about? Let me tell you what it's about. Tell me what it's about. I didn't think it would be about this. A song about drug addiction told from the perspective of a primarily determined and self-aware addict. Fuck buying it. He's taking it and sharing it with nobody. Damn. I'm trying to find where in the song. I'm trying to listen to the lyrics. I'm trying to find, oh, what part are we up to? I don't understand what he's saying, so I can't determine where well, we're up to. If he's in that state of mind, then the way that he talks about it might not be a way that you necessarily understand it. That's a very good point. But that's 90% of Death Grip songs so mm -hmm. far. So even if someone explains a song to you and you're just like, I still don't get it. Even if you explained everything to me, I just can't get it because I'm just not that sort of person. I just haven't experienced these type of things. It could be an element of it. Mm -hmm. Track four, Lord of the Game featuring Mexican Girl. What I need some Mexican girls. What a name. Whew. Hey, shout out to Mexican girls. Shout out to fine. Hey. Hey. Was that Logic Line? Shout out to my beautiful Mexican wife. Hey. Shout out to Logic's wife. No disrespect. Also, shout out to Logic. His, his latest uh, track, 1800, is putting numbers now. And also, it's also raised the, uh, the suicide hotline's call rate by 50%. But has it raised. That's great. Love it. But is it effective? Like, I hope that. The I feel like it is. The percentage of people who are. Seeking uh, who are not committing harm to themselves has decreased. Or oh, increased, I mean. I mean, that's going to take a while to tell those sort of numbers, but I feel like just the fact that it's like the, num the number one album in a lot of places, the number one song at the moment in a lot of places, and also on the radio a lot, like, it's so good for that to be awareness. Especially for Logic, man. Huge for Logic. I, I, like, I like what Logic said before the track. He said, um, a lot of fans would come up to me and be like, your music saved me. And he just, he just, he just couldn't really get that because he's just like, you know, as an artist. And eventually, at the stage of like, I'm actually saving a lot of young people's lives. If I, I if I actually tried to do that, I said people just telling me that. Imagine the difference I can make. And I think it's showing. Back to Death Grips. That track was fire. Let's get it. What okay. the? All right, we play Mario. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, you cold as fuck. I'm not cold as fuck. Oh, I'm just gonna put the heater on. <laughs> Can't fucking hide, man. Try I'm to, not cold as fuck. Trying to stun off your good hands. I'm just try, I'm, trying. Trying to show off your hands. I'm just. Uh, I want to be a little warmer. I'm comfortable. You see no goosebumps, man. There's no goosebumps on this camera. That's see you flexing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I don't care. Times a hundred. It was a pretty boring track. It's Which a lot of, of lyrics, bro. Like I'm missing a lot. Oh, bro. What are they saying? I'm reading. It. I don't know, man. I s- read me like three random. It's not lines. obvious to me. Maybe I'm just stupid. Born to okay. Born to reign above all that you claim to know beyond a doubt. Cause no one has even come close to the train of. Of thought we drop like neutron bombs from the tower. Control this and bang this and watch it rise higher. So, I mean, they're probably feeling themselves. Like, oh, yeah, we coming up. We coming up. Huh. Yeah, definitely. I like the drums on that track, though. The big boom and boom. The jungle drums. The jungle beats. Um, Did you skip that bitch? Yeah, skip that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Tachyon. Death. 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 Yon. What? I don't know, bro. No one knows. Tachyon! Hi. Oh, give me them drums. Okay. beat on that I love the aggression but it's really cool scene from the first five tracks like there's just less chaos on here there there's is st- yeah, yeah I agree there's still a lot of different sounds from a lot of different genres infused into one so you can hear the beginning of that but there's less sporadic changes and less chaos and the voice is definitely a lot clearer like there's no not as much distortion at all so but I'm so far I've loved three tracks I've found the other two boring so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm liking this album so far um that's one of my one of the better tracks I enjoyed. Um, yeah, you like track two and five. More aggressive for me. The mm. song is in reference to tachyons, which are hypothetical particles that move faster than light. Didn't even fucking know that. Apparently, they're very into science. Death grips. There you go. All right. Tachyon. Cutthroat. It says instrumental, so I'm gonna go straight from the instrumental to clink. So. Cutthroat to Queen. Sit back and enjoy this. Uh, isn't this just the whole album? What? <laughs> is this the whole album? Isn't this just what they do? Oh, well, so it's an instrumental. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. What is this? I, I don't just talk over this while, dude, there's been no good movies coming out. Movies? Yeah. Like, I like going to the cinema and watching shit. I haven't been to the cinema in a long time because nothing's been coming out I want to see. Are you sure you're just not a hot No, I just feel like a lot of the stuff that's come... I find that a lot of stuff that comes out these days, people are already trying... People are already trying to do that. Like, if someone's in the cinema, it's normally something that people done. That's why I find, like... That's why I find, like, TV shows doing a lot better because there's more freedom on them. Like... TV shows and yeah. movies, man. People I'm would rather watch shows than go see movies. Yeah. I just, I just haven't. I only want to go to the movies if it's a Marvel movie or a DC movie. Pretty much these days. So you really like? There's no favorite actors you have. Like you really. I don't go to movies for actors. I go, to, I go to movies for the content. So like, if I see a movie with an actor I like, it doesn't make me want to see it. I have to like what the movie's about. What's this smart box? Suck my dick for free! Is that what you're saying? Nah, I said that.
I actually ain't got, I ain't got no beef with that track, man. I ain't got no. No, beef. no, I like that track. I, I no love beef. the, I love the heavy drums on there. I love the energy, and, it's, and that ending there is the start of the chaos, because it was offbeat. It came in, and then that the other one like is. It was cool. I like that track. Yeah, I feel like I grooved to that, man. Like, like, I, well, like you said, the energy felt that. The energy's there. I, I love the, I'm, I'm loving the drums all over this album. They're just so, so high energy, so echoey. I love it. Shark bait, hoo ha culture shock. What? You um, say shark vein culture shock? <laughs> oh, no, I just got culture shock. Why do you say shark vein? I said shark bait, hoo ha ha. <laughs> you see, you see, you see, yeah. Barney Nemo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shark bait, hoo ha ha. There's a bar called Hoo Ha um, in Melbourne. Really? Yeah, and I went to, and um, I'm like, oh, we're going to Shark Bait. Hoo Ha Ha! Did, they, did people get the joke? Like yeah, 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 yeah. They, they all laughed. It was a great time. We all had a big orgy. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been in an orgy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I haven't had the pleasure. I haven't had the pleasure. Two words. Okay. We're on the boss level, are we? Trash. <laughs> 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 it's not trash. What is it? I don't know if it's on the tea. Do you want tea? Is this? There's water and there's, there's um, uh, green chai. Sure, man. Give me some green. I'm going to have to bring you to Go to shark, go to shark, fuck yourself. Now, nah, just put the hot water in there. I'll, I'll put the hot water in the glass. Uh, Alexander Manage is making some tea. Uh, that's culture shock. To quote him, he said that was. Um, shock. This is a British thing, I'm sure. He said that was uh, <laughs> hot trash. And we're gonna move on to the. When Jungle beats him, we're making some tea. Yes. It's green tea and chai mixed together as a one. <laughs> you, you wanna pour that right there for me? Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that sweet, sweet. Oh, don't fuck that. Oh, shit. Alright, it's all good. I got you. Alright, so we good. Alright, cool. I don't want this to get too hot. Is that good? Is that a good temperament for you? Oh, shit, the technique. Oh, shit. I broke the bag. <laughs> oh, shit, man. It's the only water I have. You're a, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a great man. So you're a great man. Thank Get some you. tea and some water. Ah, uh, 5D. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, 43 it's seconds. Were we going to talk about that good track before? No. no. <laughs> 5D stands for five dicks. <laughs> well, work at Jack Boy. Not bad, man. I fuck with that. <laughs> That was, that was pointless. Was metal, wasn't it? That was pointless. That was five dicks. Through the walls. Hey, 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 hey,
<laughs> Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. First off, I didn't expect green tea and chai tea to go good together and oh, it's the same song. Not bad, not bad. Are you regretting your decision? No, it tastes not bad, but I'm not, I'm not into the Yeah, you, seeds. you broke your bag, man. <laughs> broke the condom. Um Through the walls. I wasn't big wasn't big enough. I liked I liked a lot of the sorry for not taking it too seriously then. It's just nice to just dance around like a clown. No, honestly, that, I'm glad you said clown because I was thinking that for Death Crips had a circus, that's their track. <laughs> da, 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 it found, it sounded like it, we were in a Death Grips circus. I would love a, a circus themed Death Grips album. And with video theme to it. I might that might be heavily fuckable. Fuck wittable. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if I could. Uh, no, no, fuck wittable. Could fuck you fuck with it playing in the background? That's a high BPM. Have B- you seen it? That's a high BPM. You seen it? Seen what? It. No. Who? It. Who? It. Who? It. Who's it? It's a new movie that's out. It's a new remake, a Steven Sterling film. Steven who? Oh, it's Steven Spielberg film. Sterling? <laughs> Is it Spielberg? Is it Steven Spielberg? No, no, it's um. It says Spielberg. Is it oh, Spielberg? sorry, sorry. That, that's the. Produ- oh, fuck it. Director? Yeah, it's a director. Wait, is it Spielberg? I can't fucking remember. Well, Either way, it's a movie about a clown. And he's creepy as fuck. Yo, who dat? Who dat? Who dat? Bitch, I got that swag. Uh, um, but yeah. A, known it was I. It was I. Known for it. nothing more this track can offer me by the time I, I looked at it and I was like how far with this track I wasn't even halfway through it and I was really bored the repetitive synths just aren't mess I can't I'm not I actually I quite like the synths but I thought most everything else about the track was pretty boring I thought na 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 was the only thing the track had going for it I was pretty damn bored with that which is quite sad it's just, it's just, we hear, like I said, we're hearing a lot of the sounds that are being contrasted together that what we hear from what we heard from the money store, but we're not hearing the chaos. It's just not there, and it needs it. It needs it for us to, to really get more engaged and surprised. Because it just ain't doing it for me right now. Mm. <laughs> Fuck you, mother. That's <laughs> <laughs> Show the back of your shirt to the camera, because my mum always says it to me. This is for you, Sharon. Nike. Just do it. Yo, Nike, if you need a model, hit your boy up. Because this man is good looking as fuck. Yeah, look at that. It's gonna be bashful. I want it, I need it. Death heated. <laughs> It smells like it's nothing. It ain't nothing. You can't smell nothing. Nah, man. Hey, when do you change shirts? Oh, I went to my car. Did you get your coat? Yeah. Sip it on your your tea like a old man. Sip it on the tea in your hood. That's a fucking good song. <laughs> no disrespect, but I'm just not interested in I'm not, I'm much of this at all. That's it. Yeah, I was really engaged in all the first half of the album, but 
It's just, it's missing what we've already heard. There's like, because there's no change of pace, it's because there's not as much crazy instrumentation. It's so repetitiveness. <laughs> what? It's so repetitive. It's just so repetitive. It's repetitive. repetitive. Just, uh, yeah. This, they're just not doing enough to keep me engaged. Same. We got one more. Blood creeping. Come on, man. Give us another guillotine. That shit was dope. Last one. Let's have a look. Hello there. I'm Alexander Man from Jungle Beats. You're probably wondering why this video has kind of stopped and I'm here talking to you. Well, I'm here to tell you that our footage ran out. <laughs> Silly ass. Um, but uh, I thought that, you know, while we're going to be going to the last track and uh, talking about the conclusion of the album, instead of having like a blank screen, you should uh, stare at some, some some cool, some cute, some cute shit. Like, I don't know, like, like uh, sea lions clowning about in the water. Or maybe, uh, you know, maybe Pikachu climbing a tree and finding a, a mulga and asking why. There's remade P Pikachu gens in every single gen, and that it's just stupid, and that no one will ever be as popular as he is. But besides that, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put some kittens on the screen because kittens I find are really cute, and uh, that should really uh, do with uh, the rest of the video. And hope you enjoy it, and I uh, really love you guys. And all oh, we're jungle beats, I'm Alexander Man. Ben Staples in the big crab bucket tonight. <laughs> you feel that? Yeah, yeah. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this all about? Okay. There's a distortion of the voice there. <laughs> I like it. Song is extremely violent. Death Grips, ex military. I like that last song. It's very. in your face. Mm -hmm. I love the. all the noises all over that. I love the aggression. I'm a big fan of that last track. I think I like tracks two, three, five. Uh, might have been eight, and this track here. So I think I liked a third of the album. Or just about two fifths. I like two fifths of the album. Not, there's not enough in this album to make me go back to it or be engaged enough. I'm sure that lyrically this thing's got a lot going on, but you know you got to do a bit, you got to do a bit more than that to keep my attention. It's just how I do. Well, man, no disrespect. It's just um, it ain't no money store. It's definitely not, but that's okay. I'm not comparing. I'm just this just it doesn't interest me too much. I can see you going back to guillotine. And that's it. Maybe a couple tracks, but this overall theme. Sonically, I mean, I respect the production. I think that's very uh, eclectic mm. and eccentric and experimental and out there and aggressive and in your face and challenging. I respect that. But after that, it's not for me. It just doesn't interest me. Because I people can change. I can change. Maybe I'll like this tomorrow. But right now, no thank you. But. Well, I'm glad we went back. So because I. I'm... I'm seeing how the money store came together. There are so many sounds in this album that are just, you don't hear them often together, put together, that leads up to what we heard in the money store. So this, this album has shown me a lot of that and less of the, 
uh, spon spontaneous sort of changes, a lot of the, the extra sort of noise they have going behind that, a lot of the distortion. There's a bit more, I think there's a bit more anger on the next album. So this album has so much leading up to it. And I can see why a lot of people could rate this one better, or I, and I can see why people would rate the Money Store better as well. Because this album, I feel, is a lot more listenable to people that like not as chaotic music, but I feel like that's the reason why you'd like the other one as well. Like, I like chaos. I like a lot of change. I like being fucking surprised. Mm. Okay. So, I leave this album liking tracks, whereas The Money Store, I left that album liking the album. So, that's the difference. Well, me. okay, okay, okay. Um, look forward to continuing on listening to more Death Grips. Mm. Right below who, what album you think we should review next. Maybe we should do it chronologically. Maybe we should just go straight to uh, their latest album. Nah, let's go chronologically. Well, it's a lot of music, you know, so let the people we, we can be around for help decide. Time, I mean, I hope so. I'm trying to say, bro. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Anything can happen. Jump yeah, the beats. I could, I could have both my legs cut off by a mammoth. That could happen. I could have my voice box punctured by a balloon. Okay. I could have my dick squeezed off by a nun. All right. Ex-military, Death Grips, Jungle Beats. Right below what album you think we should do next, chronologically? Nike. Just do it. Just what? Just do it. Okay. Do it, Sharon. Give a fuck what you heard, yeah, fuck what you heard for this real shit. Get your whole dick to the top. What, 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 what? But you don't hear me though. Run up bitch to the death deck where my sneeze is falling out. Look at 12 with you know about my movement. Hustle bombs coming out my mouth.